What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we just finished watching Monday Night Raw. Shout out to everyone that joined us on YouTube and Twitch. We always have a good time when we're doing these live stream reactions. And Monday Night Raw was a pretty solid episode. And I enjoyed a lot, uh, a lot of what they put on the show. But we got to talk about, obviously, what Cody and Seth had to say in response of what uh, the Rock issued out the Rock and Roman their challenge they issued out on this previous episode of SmackDown. So we started off the show with Cody coming out there to address things. We getting right to the nitty gritty, and Cody basically he put out there that yes they did have a conversation. You know he talked about the whole twenty one minute promo and and all this other stuff, and he talked about how he did have the conversation with him about um, what should happen. And essentially, The Rock told him, hit him up saying, hey, this is the match that people want to see uh, between me and the Ro uh, me and Roman. That's the match people want to see. People don't really want to see The Rock versus, I mean, uh, Cody versus Roman again. People want to see The Rock versus Roman. So I think you should do the right thing. Let me have this moment. And you can finish your story at a later time. So confirms that Cody agreed to it. But then people, you know what I'm saying, had, uh, you know, kind of turned on that idea. And, you know, they started with the we want Cody chance. And he alluded to that, that that kind of switched up things and changed things. And it wasn't until he brought out the family bloodline, like the 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 whole bloodline tree um, that he was showing at the press conference that press event the wrestlemania press event and he kind of got pissed cody said he was upset because y'all made it seem as, as if this is the only wrestling family that mattered and that's when he said at that point i changed my mind so it confirms the story that they're saying cody did agree to step aside but then things changed and he didn't like what was being presented um on that uh on the, the bloodline family tree being this only superior uh wrestling family and this is the match that needs to happen when really it was the it was the rock asking if he could take his place that's what it was so we kind of already knew that but cody in in other words confirmed that so he also brought up the point that he wanted to strictly just have a one-on-one -on -one. he it was initially supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one, but The Rock switched things up. He didn't want it to be a one-on-one. -on -one. He wanted it to be a two-on-two -two situation. Also, Cody wanted to make mention that he knows Seth has a lot on his plate with facing Drew McIntyre, and he understands completely if Seth doesn't want to be a part of this uh, tag team match because he has his own match to worry about. So he wanted to get Seth answer and see what seth had to say about this so he invited seth to come out there you know cody being the honorable man that he is he's like you know what seth you got a lot on your plate i may have to figure this one out on my own for right now because you know you got to face a a, a a strong drew mcintyre seth comes out there and seth essentially tries to you know rebuttal for what the rock has been saying you know rock's been claiming that you know wrestling is cool again because of him he's been calling Seth a clown and all this other stuff and you know Seth tries to joke back and I'm gonna be honest with you it didn't really hit not for me personally he uh he said since Seth want to call me uh since Rock want to call me names I, I I've decided to come up with a name for uh Dwayne and he calls him Diarrhea Dwayne A couple chuckles there. Uh, they didn't work for me personally. No, and you know, it, it 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 just didn't land. Like, oh, he's always saying something out his mouth that's just diarrhea feel like baby poopy or something like that. I was just like, oh, bro, he has literally been disrespecting you. I would have I would have expected you to come a little bit harder than diarrhea Dwayne, like. What was that? Uh, 
So after that kind of cringe joke comeback that for me personally didn't land, he um Seth also wanted to make mention was like, oh yeah, you you're you're quote unquote the boss over me, right? You say you're gonna take this championship away from me, right? Do it. I dare you. Go ahead and do it. Try to take this title away from me. And I like what he said there. Because now he's challenging The Rock. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens on this episode of SmackDown. Because there could be some repercussions to what he said there. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sure Triple H is going to definitely get involved in this. So I like that he at least mentioned that after that kind of cringe little line of di diarrhea with Dwayne. Uh, I don't know about that. But I like that part. Like, hey. If you so big, bad, and, and tough, go ahead and do something about it. Me, uh, Seth also let Cody know, hey, look, this is bigger than than me, man. I'm okay. I'm going to handle Drew. I'll be fine. Uh, he let everybody know that the doctor says he's 100% ready to go, so I can handle Drew. But best believe I'm going to be in your corner, you know, uh, when it comes to the bloodline, and I'm down to take them down. I just need to know if you're going to have my back. So essentially. Uh, Cody said he's going to give his response, him and Seth, going to make a trip to SmackDown this week, and he's going to give his response in person. I'm looking forward to that. I think that's going to be great. I need one of those responses to be in a, in a physical slap, a receipt of sorts in wrestling terms. That's all I need. You can have some security out there to separate things, but I need it to be that. Simple as that. I would I would love for Cody to come out there. It needs to just be y'all two and us two. Leave your cronies behind. Y'all are facing us at WrestleMania. Unless you feel like y'all need them to protect you. Play it up. Roman tells them to get out of here. And then simple. You want to know my answer at WrestleMania? I'm going to make it very clear for you what my for what my response is to this two-on-two -two match. Kirkpatrick, right to the face. And if it's a brawl, maybe have security there. Whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying, to kind of keep them apart from each other, you can do that. Call it a day. I just need Cody to get his re receipt back, and then it intensifies that feud. You put your hands on me, I told you I was going to slap you. So I, I hope, please, Book them to do that. Please book Cody to be aggressive. Go out there and slap this guy. But we saw a little bit of aggressiveness from Cody later on in the night. It was an okay segment. I think it dragged on a little bit too long. Um, Tonight, the Seth Rollins jokes, it did not land. Diarrhea Dwayne. Eh. I mean, the crowd chanted it because they're just happy to be in the moment. But eh. on, on television, it didn't ring off. So that's just my personal opinion. We also knew that Drew McIntyre... And Jay Uso was going to have a match. So tonight, before Drew went out there to face Jay, um, the announcer, what well, the interviewer was asking her, obviously Seth didn't listen to you. You know, what's your thoughts on Seth getting involved in his bloodline stuff? And he said, Seth is a junkie. He's an attention junkie. And I thought that was so funny. He was like, let's break it down. When CM Punk came back, Guess who was in the mix? Seth. When uh, Cody came back, guess who's, who was in the mix? Seth. When The Rock comes back, guess who's in the mix? Seth. He's not focused. He doesn't listen to me. He's an attention junkie, but that's okay. I'm here to take that title away from him because, honestly, he doesn't deserve the title anymore. It needs to be treated better. He needs to put more respect on it. He's worried about the wrong things. He's an attention junkie. Fucking love that. Drew is fucking great. So fantastic. Love what they're doing with Drew. Love it. So they have their match. It was a really good one. And at first, I, I knew the bloodline was going to get involved, but I thought it was going to be Jimmy first. But no, it was Solo. Solo tried to come in there and cause a distraction. You hear Cody, mu Cody's music. Cody comes out there, fights Solo off in the crowd. Then, um... It looks like Jay's about to get his redemption win here. But here comes Jimmy on the other side with the no yeet shirt on, just standing at him menacingly. But obviously, uh, it distracts Jay long enough for Drew to hit him with the Claymore kick. One, two, three. 
and he gets out of there. And then Jimmy proceeds to get a chair. He's about to wreck, wreak some havoc. And then all of a sudden, you see Seth Rollins, his music hit. He runs down the ramp. Drew is looking at him, just run right past him. Like Drew just didn't exist. He runs right past him, went straight for Jimmy, ends up uh, kicking Jimmy in the face uh, as he had the chair up, about to hit him. You know how wrestlers have the chair up conveniently right in front of their face. So he kicks Jimmy right in the face, gets him out of the ring to help out Jay. And then all of a sudden, he turns around and eats a Claymore kick for his troubles from Drew McIntyre. And Drew's like, you got to be focused. You got to pay attention. You're worried about the wrong things. This is the most important thing. He picks up the championship. You should be concerned about this. You need to be focusing on this. And that's Drew's whole point. Focusing on me. Stop focusing on the bloodline. Don't worry about them. Focus on me. I'm facing you at WrestleMania. So I thought that was interesting. And the show went off the air with a loud CM Punk chant. Now, here's the thing. And we've been seeing some speculations about it. And honestly, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I think CM Punk needs to be involved in WrestleMania. There's no way you don't either have him on commentary or something. But what people have been speculating and what would be cool, CM Punk maybe being a guest, uh, a special guest referee somehow between in this match. Because one, CM Punk don't like neither of these guys. He doesn't like Seth. And he doesn't, he really don't like Drew. And I think that would be, that would be a very interesting thing because CM Punk would actually have to count the pin for one of these guys. And he would actually have to raise their hand as the champ. That's why I think there would be some good storytelling there. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with that. But that you did hear loud CM Punk chants. And CM Punk hasn't said nothing about anything related to Drew. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that plays out. But overall, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen on SmackDown. That first segment, it was cool. We kind of knew they were going to really talk about, you know what I'm saying, teaming up. And you, you kind of know where this was going to go. Obviously, they weren't going to agree to it now. They were going to wait till SmackDown to agree. But we kind of know the answer is going to be yes, more or less. Um, but it's going to be very interesting to see how things play out on friday the whole diarrhea Dwayne that that was a miss whoever told him to say that uh they should have kept that in the notebook that would be so but comment down below let me know did you guys enjoy this episode of monday night raw and are you guys looking forward to friday and what do you guys want to happen this friday me personally i want cody to respond with a a slap to the rock's face as his answer Bow. the answer is yes that's all i need and we 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 can be on our way <laughs> so y'all let me know how things are gonna play out but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm seeing speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace